Assalamu alaikum welcome everyone to chapter 4 8 of the Arduino series in this video we're going to be covering the sister of the 0.91 inch SSD 1306 display this one has an extra 32 pixels on its width or height if you may and the variant that I have also comes in yellow and blue pixels there are ones that come in yellow blue or white only pixels the first 16 pixels are dedicated to the yellow pixel then there's a gap then followed by the 48 pixels for the blue if you wish to follow along you're going to need four male to male jumper wires the oled display the breadboard and of course the arduino the connectivity is the same as the sister you want to ground the display to a ground pin on the arduino connect vcc to 5 volts you want to connect the sda and scl to the respective pins i'll have this website linked in the description what you want to go is on code settings make sure everything is the same as mine then you want to go on library on top make sure you choose uhg2 that's the one we're going to be using and make sure your resolution is correct 128 by 64 then you have access to all these tools which makes it a lot easier to draw what you want to be displayed on your oled display i've this is what i've chosen and you can do the same thing or even better and onto the code we want to include the y library which comes with the arduino then we want to get the uag2 library to get that you want to go sketch include library manage libraries you want to wait for it to load then you want to search uag2 then you want to scroll down after waiting to the one that says uag2 by oliver you want to download the latest version or update it then what we want to do is get this piece of code, which is quite crucial. In order to do that, you want to go File, Example, scroll all the way down until you find UAG2, and then click on Full Buffer, click on Font Usage. From here, you want to expand the window just to make it a lot easier to read, and then press Control F. This shortcut will bring up the search or the find, and here you want to type in the exact same thing. I have SSD 1306 underscore 128 X 64. Then you want to scroll down until you see the one that has SCL and SDA. Then you want to copy and paste it, Control C, Control V, and then you've got your piece of code. After uncommenting it. I have four integer variables that replace the X coordinate of each of the string. This will allow me to implement the side scrolling motion. In my void setup, I initialize the serial monitor with a board rate of 9600, and the command that follows it activates the UHG2 library. The void loop in this video is going to be similar to the one in the previous video, however the only difference is that it's going to contain a string which has my website which you should check out and the borders. The command clear buffer prevents any pixels from the previous frame to be added onto the next one and the two commands that follow set font mode and set bitmap mode will both have their github pages linked in the description where you can read more about them, I just add them there. The set font allows me to change the font and anything that follows under this will have the font that I've applied. Next is a series of if statements that are the, the, which are the exact same as the one in the previous video. If x underscore 1 is greater than 100 or equal to 127, which is the maximum distance on the x axis, then send it back to the left away, which it can't be seen, with an x coordinate of minus 80. And the same thing is applied to x underscore 3. Next, we have another if statement, which allows me to add an increment to both x underscore 1 and x underscore 3, which are the two texts that are can be can be seen almost uh, at times at once so if x underscore one is less than or equal to 127 then add an increment of one and uh, this is the same thing is applied to x underscore three and as you can see that i've added the x underscore the variables into the x coordinate of the draw strings next uh one thing that i did not make clear enough was which uh is the uh, variables dedicated to which strings so the x underscore one and x underscore three is dedicated associated to the subscribe to and the x underscore two and x underscore four is associated to the where explained string and they follow the same exact format in order for them to pass at the same amount just however the initial coordinates different and how much they're sent back is also different because they have different lengths the final part is just the border and the way the function takes in the parameters is that the first two coordinates the x and y are before and the ones that follow after are the x and y that way you want them to be sent to so that's the the guidelines finally i changed the sent font mode for the where explain just to have a little bit of variety and then send buffer so that it's sent to the oled display i have started developing a website which i can pair with the channel however i do have no experience in html css or javascript if you wish to access the code go through the same steps that i've shown I'll be very glad if you made it this far into the video and if you wish to join the small community that I'm trying to build, my Discord is going to be linked in the description. And if the video has benefited you in any way, consider giving it a like and subscribe. This will help out the channel greatly.